Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, did you want to do something about, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, the third generation and selling the farm last week. Did you have something you wanted I, to mention? On that? I did. So I wanted to add into the segment um, this the great reveal, right? Un- uncovering the curtain. And I think we rushed through it last week. We talked about um, the perception of the first generation business owner, farmer, what have you, uh, buying, grinding, founder, exciting entrepreneur, second generation is, you know, shoulder to shoulder with that first generation. However, they're building it, they're growing it, they're operating it, they're, they're making it more efficient. And the, the perception is that then that third generation was ignored and, uh, the businesses blow up because that third generation was entitled or un- unwilling to work or whatever the perception may be. However, you know, the analogy, the, the metaphor that we talked about last week for uh, selling the farm, right? The story of the Smiths who had the farm for multiple generations, right? What does that term mean? So I had to sell the farm. Well, you know, the Smiths owned this and they tilled it and they, they made it work for multiple generations. It was a wonderful, wonderful piece of land that made uh, all of the family money and were able to live off of the farm. Unexpectedly, Mr. Smith died. Mr. Smith died and the estate taxes were due because they hadn't properly planned for their estate. They had to sell part of the farm. So the sign went up, people started, you know, bidding on the land and sadly they had to close and sell a piece of their farm in order to pay those estate taxes. And, you know, the term we use a lot is sell a farm, right? It's because of this story, but it, it works with family businesses, right? Whether it's manufacturing, landscaping, construction, roofing, whatever the family business may be, it's the same thing. It's selling something you didn't want to sell in order to pay someone you didn't want to pay. So the great reveal, what I wanted to share with folks is the number one reason why people come into our offices and talk with our estate planning team is to limit the amount of money they pay the government. That's what the number one statement is of the folks that come in to handle their planning. Yes, they want to organize. Yes, they want to uh, look down upon their family and see a stress-free transition, right? They're already mourning the loss of you. You want to be able to know that they're not then stressed out about other things that need to be done, selling the business, liquidating all of these assets that you worked so hard for, or simply being unorganized and they have to go through the probate court and all of that. So the the great reveal uh, today is um, that third generation may not have been entitled they may not, they may have worked really hard. However, without the proper planning of those generations above, they didn't have the capital that they needed in order to continue the business and they had to sell.